Hi. Previously I made a video showing you how to import World of Warcraft models into Unreal Engine using 3ds Max. And uh, the limitation of 3ds Max is that uh, it can import and export only single animation from FBX files. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Motion Builder and uh, it's a little bit more streamlined. You can uh, export uh, multiple animations and uh, you don't have to actually group and then explode uh, skeleton. So to begin with you need uh, World of Warcraft model viewer and you need uh, version 0.7.0.5 that's the last working FBX export release. Once you get that uh, I show you in previous uh, video how to set up and everything point to your uh, World of Warcraft uh, uh, folder and uh, you'll get this list populated here. Uh, we're going to use uh, Alex Straza for this tutorial. Uh, just go File Export Model Make sure that initial pose only is unchecked. Choose FBX. Again, uh, I'm going to choose uh, this one that I already did here. Keep this uh, empty to so it uh, exports all the animations. And this usually takes, uh, depending on number of animations, uh, maybe a minute or so. So just be patient. Okay, we got that. Uh, open your motion builder. Again, this is uh, another uh, great Autodesk product. Uh, you can use uh, uh, student license uh, if you have it. Uh, go to open. We're going to choose this file that we just exported. Just keep everything the way it is. You don't need to adjust anything here. Click open. And this is what you get. Now we have again problem with uh, animations that the end frame is usually out of whack as you can see here. So let's uh, let's adjust that. Right click here on scene and click select branch. That way we, we select the whole uh, thing. Uh, go here, cl right click, copy, go back to 60, right click, paste. And usually this fix the thing in some animations you have to play a little bit more. Okay, this one is fine. So we're gonna use uh, run. Let's see, walk animation. Okay. Again, go to zero, right click, copy, go to the last one, right click, paste. Let's see how that looks like. Okay, that one looks fine as well. Uh, let's do uh, ball roar. Okay. Again, right click, copy, right click, paste, and if I remember this one has a little jump at the end, as you can see there is a little extra frame there and we're just gonna eliminate that. Uh, just go here and click 158 and uh, that should take care of it. It does interpolate uh, to the zero frame so that works fine and uh, we have let's say dragon tail 
as you can see that one adds around uh, 60 so right click copy we go to 60 right click paste change key to 60 uh, and it works fine and now we're gonna do the uh, actual export which is not export it's uh, just basically save save as i have it here already astraza mb click yes now on this side uncheck everything except bones and characters and here you can choose either to have like all the animations or you can select which ones you wanna export I think uh, these are the ones that we kind of fix. Click save. That's about it. Uh, I have a project here, a clean project, and I'm gonna import here. Mm, okay, this is the one that we want to import. You can you leave this input as skeletal, so on. Uh, uh, leave skeleton none. Click import all, and it's compiling shaders right now. Uh, you can of, of course. Uh, oops, there is no animation there. Input animation. I forgot that. Uh, input all. And uh, we have animations there now. Okay. You can see this uh, battle roar this uh, run you have a uh, dragon tail swipe and this is the the walk and uh, they're all exported just fine i mean imported in this case so you can just let's say put it there uh, Use animation asset, uh, let's say dragon tail. And uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.